Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Anna, and today we're doing a foundation review and a little wear test with the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. It's what I have it on already, so you can kind of see a little bit of the finished product. It's been on about an hour. But yeah, we'll be doing a full wear test of this today, and we're gonna go over all the claims, and I'm gonna talk about some caveats and how I feel about it and all the things. So yeah, if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. Before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know down below if you have some foundations that you're interested in. And if you have some thoughts on the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation, drop that in the comments as well. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this foundation review and wear test. So we'll start with the details here. This is the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. This retails for $36, and you can always catch like a crazy good deal at QVC. They will have it maybe paired with a brush or something else, or like a two pack. They do lots of deals on Laura Geller overall on QVC, and she's always running sales on her website. So you never really have to pay full price for Laura Geller. This is a foundation and highlighter in one. Your Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation swirled with ribbons of one of our signature baked highlighters, 95% pigment, 5% highlighter, creating a baked balance and glow eliminating foundation. The luxurious two-in-one foundation color corrects, brightens, and illuminates for flawless glowing skin in a single step. Illuminating pigments are marbled into a buildable foundation to even skin tone for a natural yet illuminated complexion. This has medium coverage, Applies like a powder, adheres like a cream, and feels weightless. Antioxidant, white tea, cantilla, something rather to protect against environmental aggressors. We're gonna do a wear test and everything with this, but I will tell you right away, this is an insanely glowy powder foundation that is, I think can kind of exacerbate texture if you have a lot of texture. I wouldn't recommend this as a powder foundation personally. Myself, I also don't think it's a buildable medium coverage either. I think it's a light coverage. I got a lot of caveats with this one. Yeah, I don't think it is the best <laughs> powder foundation on the market. It's just far too glowy. I don't think it gives a nice kind of airbrush finish like I want it to. Like it kind of makes pores and texture a little bit more pronounced and just increasingly gets oilier throughout the day. It doesn't have the best longevity, in my opinion. I don't find it to be the most flattering formulation for a foundation. Now, the original formula, I don't know. It might be awesome. But this one, that highlighter in there is just, it's too much. It is woo, too much. And I don't think it has a one good like coverage level either. That being said, I think this can make a really pretty finishing powder over top of your foundation. Like if you've done your normal foundation concealer or setting powder and want to add a little glow in like you would maybe with a hourglass ambient lighting powder or something like that. Or something that kind of maybe hit the high points, the perimeter of the face, add just a little extra coverage in. You know, just a light dusting type of product. That's where I think this could shine. Literally and figuratively, I think that it makes a really good kind of uh, finishing powder step if you like something very glowy. But again, it's super glowy. <laughs> and uh, I don't I don't know who this is for. Like I don't know who's benefiting from something this glowy on the skin as a foundation. But we're gonna wear a test it today and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my skin in application everything and just show you the progression of it throughout the day. So here she is. I have this in the shade medium. This is made in Italy. Now this is my friend Claire's product and she's a little more tan than me. So of course medium's her color, which oddly the medium works on me. It just gives me a little bit more color, but a bad color match. It's interesting. It, it does definitely, there's some nice uh, flexibility within the shade here. For this to be able to work on both of us shade wise, it's cool. And the marbling is beautiful within here. If you can see that, it is lovely. I like all the shades swirled in here. I think that's a really nice concept. I would love to try the original formulation of this. But anyway, I'm gonna take a, 
kind of a stiff like foundation brush. It's recommended to apply this with a kabuki brush, so I'm gonna find something kind of like a kabuki brush. I have this. This is a nice stiff kind of flat brush. Basically a kabuki brush. We'll use this. And we go ahead and do my concealer first. I'm just gonna put the concealer on the under eye where I wanna brighten up. And I'll use a little bit of the IRL Filter Finish Concealer from Revolution Beauty. Just to go ahead and get that on and put this in the areas that I want to be a little bit brighter. And this is a matte concealer just to kind of help <laughs> with that. A little bit on the lids here. All the, the areas I tend to want to put a little concealer. Light them out, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna pat that out with a sponge. But yeah, I find the coverage level of this, of the Laura Geller to be not <laughs> barely medium. I don't know if I would call it medium. Like you would have to really, really be building to get to a medium. I, I consider it definitely a light coverage product. And what my friend Claire said about it, she said it feels like it doesn't set. Like <laughs> it's, it somehow is like a creamy product, even though it's a powder, and it just kind of melted away on her and exacerbated texture and just looked, just didn't look great. She didn't like it. And um, I'm thinking in comparison, she agreed that it, it performed like the Age Perfect foundation powder from L'Oreal, where it's just like somehow it's a powder, yet somehow it makes you oily. And that was kind of her consensus or her thoughts on this as well. And I kind of, I kind of agree. I want to show you how it performs because I know this one's products that's still very much available. And one of the, a product that's promoted from Laura Geller. So I thought we could see what it's all about. I think she definitely has hero products. Her pencils are phenomenal. I love those Kajal pencils. One of the other issue I came across with her, one of her baked powder blushes that is so glowy that you have to be very strategic with your placement and application because A, it picks up so much on your brush and it can be too much and not be a soft glow like you, I think, kind of want it to be. Like I want something like this to be a soft glow and it is not. <laughs> now in the pan, it looks like it is. It looks beautiful in the pan. And I'm like, oh, that's gonna be perfect. Anyway, let's take you on this brush here. So I'm just gonna, you're supposed to swirl in like this, pick some up and we'll start right here. I, <laughs> I don't see hardly anything. And I know I'm picking up a decent amount of product, like I see it on the brush. But when I go to apply, mm, hello, <laughs> I don't really see anything. I feel like after a few minutes, it just starts to look so glowy that it's like, ooh, just too much. But let's see if we can take down some of this redness on the cheeks. So I'm gonna apply it to one side and we can compare. Now the shade is going to be a little bit warm on me, so I'm going to bring it down the neck. What is, it's not a skin-like glow. It's a, you put, like maybe you rubbed a little too much flawless filter all over your face or Lumi Glotion, like it, like it took a bath in it. It's not something I want to put right here in the pore zone, <laughs> you know? It's something I would, I, I want to keep maybe just to this part of the face. <laughs> and maybe you just can use it as a finishing powder. It's not something I want to just like put all up in here where I got crevices and crinkles and wrinkles and pores. <laughs> Cause it doesn't do that nice filtering effect like you want it to or like I want a powder to do anyway. Just make sure that I'm getting this buffed everywhere. Now, I would not call this a medium coverage and I feel like I'm trying to build it. Like I'm trying to take down this red patch right here. 
and I can still see I can pretty much see all my freckles and everything through this like I don't see a ton of coverage I just see like my skin's maybe a little evened out yeah it looks a little bit more even but I would still I would definitely consider this a light coverage light coverage product and of course I'll show you what this looks like in natural daylight as well because that will show all things you don't want it to show so here we are one side fully applied and skin looks evened out I still see my red patch that I had right here and I can still see freckles and kind of skin and kind of imperfections a little bit to me light coverage light coverage is what this looks like so here's without and with any other shade match not the most ideal but it's fine like it actually just makes my skin look kind of nice <laughs> like I actually like the the color of it gives me a healthy warmth but can you see the level of glow right in here and by the way I'm not wearing any primer just my normal skincare like I can see like shimmer in this that I don't necessarily want in my pore area like right in here and it doesn't it feels lightweight but it doesn't really feel like I have powder on like I I don't know it still feels feels a bit dewy <laughs> and it's just steadily getting dewier as I'm talking to you I can see it looking more and more shiny. So this was, uh, I think this is just a little too glowy for a foundation. Look, unless you absolutely love a super glowy product, I would much rather be able to do more of a strategic highlighting placement or go with a little bit like Flawless Filter, Lumi Glotion, or something like this underneath and just keep it more on the perimeter of the face. All right, let's even things out. And we'll see how this holds up for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna do a little cleaning around the house. I got dinner to cook. I got some work to do. Get okay, initial application. I don't hate the way this looks. I just know it's not gonna look great in like 10 minutes. That's the thing. It's not gonna stay looking like this. Mm -hmm. Yep, just too dang glowy. Now the way that I've actually really been enjoying using it is this giant fluffy brush and taking it as a finishing powder just on the perimeter like this. Now I thought that looked really nice to do if I was feeling like I was too matte or something. But yeah, that's this is awfully glowy. I don't know if it's translating on camera. But it looks like I just have Lumi Glotion on and nothing else. And it's definitely a light coverage. Like I still see freckles and everything through it. I still see my skin through it. Which I don't mind. I, I, I like a light coverage. Um, it's just that they, they call it a medium buildable coverage. I disagree. Disagree with that. Now, I can feel like it is just getting glowier and glowier the more I talk to you and I'm starting to see like more pores come through and I don't know we'll see how it holds up I am gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll come back to you when all that's done and we will see how things are holding up at that point and yeah I'll do a few check-ins throughout the day and we'll see what we're looking like in natural daylight and all of that because of course we're in the studio lighting which is a little bit more flattering than sunlight you know, sunlight's gonna tell tell you all the all the things you don't want to know about your skin. <laughs> Looking in the mirror in the car, and you catch a look at, glimpse of yourself like in the rearview mirror or something. You're like, oh goodness, <laughs> what happened? It's that kind of thing. So we'll we'll see how it looks in the daylight. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we are in natural daylight, and it's been about an hour. So this has been on the face and girl. Yeah, we're full shiny, full <laughs> disco ball looking skin. Like, oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Let me scoot you in here. Uh, I look hella oily. 
Like, oh boy. Yeah. And I feel oily. I feel greasy. Like, my skin feels greasy. Like, I can feel the oils coming through. And it has been an hour. So, yeah. I don't think this is a great... <laughs> Really, uh, I don't think this is the uh, powder foundation for me. <laughs> and I, I really can't think who this would be for. Like, I feel like the shimmer in it, the shine factor, what that's going to do is exacerbate dry skin and crepiness uh, if you have more of a drier skin type. And if you have more mature skin, pores, wrinkles, texture, anything like that, it's also going to exacerbate that as well and make it even more obvious because I mean I can see my pores in every little crevice and wrinkle and look at my forehead like mm -hmm, no 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 so I wouldn't I don't think I can recommend this <laughs> this powder foundation really to anyone uh, perhaps the original Baked Balance and Brighton is better. I just don't know who, who this would really be for. So I, I can't recommend this as just a go-to foundation though for day to day. Like this is just, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't see this working out too well for anybody, but that's just me. That's my, my opinion and my thoughts on that. Let me know down below if you have tried this foundation and if you've had a different experience. Drop in the comments because everyone's different. We all have different skin types and different needs, different wants. Grain of salt when it comes to reviews. So yeah, your thoughts might be helpful to someone else in the comment section as well. Leave it down below. But anyway, I'm gonna do another check-in for the end of the day just so we can see if this gets worse. <laughs> So why not? We might want to see if it gets worse. And uh yeah, okay, so I'll see you guys in a little while. I still have I haven't done anything to get sweaty or greasy. I've been sitting here filming reels. I filmed two reels. I did a reel about my blush and lip gloss. How am I so shiny? <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Five hours later, six hours later. What is this? <laughs> whoa, girl, whoa. That's not, that's not from the shimmer in the product. It's not the highlight. This is, I think, the product itself. It's super not mattifying. <laughs> like it, uh, somehow it's made me more oily. Uh-uh, no, no, not, not it. Why am I so, so shiny? Just insanely shiny. Anyways, I've not been doing anything like crazy strenuous. I have literally just been at the computer today working and trying to keep my eyes open. <sighs> I'm so sleepy, but I've been editing video all day. And how, like this feels, this, I feel greasy. Like when I touch my face, where's this coming from? I'm not this oily. Like I, I lean oily, I'm combo, but not like this. What is, what is happening? What's happening here? Girl. Laura, Miss Geller. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna call it here because is this gonna get better? No, it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna get worse. And I feel sticky and greasy and I still have to make dinner and cook and run to the store. I've got too much to do already. <laughs> and just, I can't. <laughs> so. I'm going to end off here because I don't think there's improving on this. My final verdict on the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow is 
she's oily. She's oily. And I don't know who this product's for. I don't know. I just don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below if you experience with this and if you've used it and if you've used the original one. Is it better? Do you, do you have a, any suggestions, tips and tricks with this? Because inquiring minds would like to know. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Bye now.